first, we all like to gush over those pretty parties posted on Instagram, but many of us are just a little too intimidated to attempt a posh party ourselves, right? Well, today we are sharing a little party planning one-on-one -on -one with all of you. Our goal is to help take the intimidation factor out of the party decor and show you the easy ways to pull off a beautiful event that's also on a budget. Studio 5 party and family fun contributor Celeste Whitney is here with these fun ways to, to get involved and make your party great. You have five steps. Yes. Now, Celeste, party planning can be very intimidating, very hard, but you say if you follow these this recipe, these five steps, you should be able to pull it off. Yes, I would not attempt making a cake by myself without a recipe, so I think sometimes if you don't know the tips, then it's harder. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> and if you look around, I mean, this just gets you excited. You can't look at what you've brought and not be excited. So let's start over on my right side with kind of that first step to get going on your party. Okay, my first step is always the color scheme. I think sometimes that goes unrecognized that it's so important. Once you have the color scheme down, uh, then everything else is easy. Okay, and what so, type of things do you find for inspiration for picking that perfect color? So sometimes you go into like a boutique and there's one thing that catches your eye, which for me was these pa paper plates. And I love them so much, but you, I didn't buy them enough for everyone at the party. I just bought them as my inspiration for my color scheme. Okay. So I decorated with them. I have some maybe for the guest of honor. And then I use fillers, like cheaper, more inexpensive ones. That That's just such a smart match idea. the color. Yes. Okay. And what's your next step? Okay. So then is the budget. And that's always key because we want to stick to a budget and feel like we're able to yes. do a lot for, a, a, you know, not a huge price tag. People do either two, one of two things when it comes to budget. Either you get excited about your theme, you know, it's a mermaid theme, you buy everything that you see that's mermaid or those colors for a month, and then you end up with way too much and you've overspent by a ton. Yes. So if you don't plan the budget, you might not overspend, okay. or they forget about it altogether. Sometimes decorations are the last thing on your mind because other things kind of take yes. precedence. And so then they get to the last minute and they've already spent their budget on the food and whatever else, and then they've got to go spend more for the decor. So Celeste, looking at some of this, I mean, what type of budget would you need to pull off, you know, something that'll look like this? About? Oh my goodness, this was probably like $20 and you can reuse most of it. That is amazing. Yes. And it looks adorable. You know, you can't really put a price on how right. cute it looks, well, right? That's what I think is so important. Um, okay, so let's move over here to along with the budget. Okay. Um, you pick whatever is your very favorite thing. For me, it was these My Mind's Eyes. Um, they're paper fans. Okay. And the banner, which is like so happy. But you can't walk in and think, oh, well, I would need 10 of those sets to decorate the whole room. Okay. So this is where the all a dollar comes in, or the dollar store, uh -huh. whatever it's called. Uh, they have neon balloons now, and so I made this balloon banner, which you don't always need like a huge balloon garland, but even if it's just a couple balloons in the corner to match the colors. But I did want to address the garland because there's a simple way to do it. Okay, because it's kind of intimidating for people. Yes, we look at this and I'm thinking, that is so beautiful, but I could never do that. I've but you're showing us, yes, you can. Yes, I've tried every last way to put these together, and this is by far the favorite. So I left the bottom undone so I could show you. All you do is you get a big ribbon. Okay. You, you don't really see it, but you want it to kind of match at the length that you want it. And that will determine okay. the length. And then all you do is you take the balloons and you staple the bottom oh. of it to the ribbon. So not even a hot glue gun, not, not you glue, tie off the balloon and tie. staple it on there. I've done the tying, I've done the sewing with the string, but this way they all stay exactly where you want them. I've never popped a balloon with the with a staple. And then is there a theory, you know, a method yeah, to putting so them on? You always want to do some big, some small. So okay. if you see like a big orange, and, and I just blew this one up a little bit less, mm -hmm. and I always use either a hand pump or a balloon blower upper. Okay. Um, and I do like too big, then too small. Too big, too small, too big, too small. And then it just kind of falls perfectly. And while you're doing that, you're interweaving the colors. Yes, and also I think that they're about an inch or two apart. Okay, so one, and then the next, and the next. That really yeah. is such a simplified version it that adds just pizzazz. No time, this can be done so fun. three days before. And it's very easy to move, very durable, because the staples are yeah. strong, whatever. Okay. Whatever, so just, Keep so that creating in mind that for the beautiful next time. look that you know you don't have to do the whole house. Yes, 
the balloons are like the background dancers. Okay. <laughs> and the focal point is what you spent a lot of money on. Okay. The nice thing is where you want the backdrop to be. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So let's move on down the line. Okay. You've also turned this into some Mother's Day fun. Oh, here. yes. Well, of course. Um, so this one I wanted to point out to do um, multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking of where to decorate in your house, think I need a place for presents because most parties need gifts for whatever yes. it is, if it's graduation or birthday or whatever. So aside from the focal point, um, maybe decorate one table that okay. just is for gifts. And then one thing that I love that you talk about is the, uh, using your favors and food as decor as well, having yes. that as multi-purpose. I think there's never anything sadder than when someone pulls the cake out of the fridge right at the very end and nobody got to see it. So make sure, you've, you've got to have food anyways, make sure to try to match the colors. Like I said with the color scheme, once you have that, match everything to it and that way you almost don't need a lot of decoration because it's so overwhelming to think to decorate and to buy all new decorations for every party. Yes. Just make sure the food matches and then you've already got decorations all over the table. And so what are some of the key decoration um, pieces that can, can be used again and saved? Okay, so I think that greenery is universal to mm -hmm. absolutely any theme. And even if these just are normally by your front door or your mantle or something, make sure to bring in some greenery to your party scape. Okay. Okay, it just kind of livens it up and it makes it pretty and feel like it's important. So s rummage through the house and see where you have little yes. bushes or yes. you know, bring them so that way and it just adds extra. And make pretty and then you didn't buy anything, you just reused it. So I use this silly little hula hoop for oh. all, all the time. It is a hula hoop that I put some greenery on it and I switch out these little fans. Okay. The paper ba banners or the paper fans and, and these tissue paper balls. Okay, I and those you switch colors. to go with the color of whatever your yes, party is? which those are a huge deal to me too. They're my very favorite thing because this is why I left some undone. They're so easy to store. Look at that. And that's just how they work. And then how do you come by, you know, seal it at the bottom? And then it comes with a sticky, but here is the most important thing. If you, <laughs> if you forget everything, don't forget this. Don't <laughs> ever use that sticky. Oh, Only why? Only use, because then it's one time you gotta throw it away. Oh. So don't so use you the do sticky. I use either clips or a paper clip. Just on the back. Just a paper clip on the back, and then you can take it down. It's even more simple than a balloon. And I mean, you can store these all the same color. You can have five filing folders with five different yes. color schemes, and then you never have to buy them again. Oh, Celeste, thank so you so those. much. What great ideas help us kind of get on track and figure out how we need to start planning our next party on a budget. Yes. We appreciate your insight. Where can people go and, and find more ideas from you? Okay, well, I'll have all this online at sevenloops.com okay. or sevenloops um, is my Instagram handle as well. Thanks so much, Celeste.